bear population is at an all-time high, and they are growing increasingly more dangerous. A bear last night slept with my wife. A grizzly went into a church today and mauled all the nuns and little orphans. They're animals, and they're taking over the world. If you made a bear angry, tell it you're sorry. But the worst part about bears is they always get the worst hand jobs. And most importantly, they hate America. As you can see right behind me, there's bears everywhere. The president is expected to make a statement at any time now. I am officially declaring war on bears! Mr. President, as your closest advisor, I've got to say this war on bears, bad idea. A bear tried to kill my father, Jeff. I'm not gonna let it happen again, Jeff. That's a good idea, sir. The last thing we need are bears all over the world. Bears are dangerous. What do you know? You're just a cop. I'm head of the Secret Service, Jeff. Just like I said, a cop. All right, let's knock it off. We got a plane to catch. Sir, that's a candy bar. I thought you were on a diet. You're starting to sound like my wife. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir, I hate your wife. I'd never want to sound like her. <laughs> So, Rita, tell me the big news. Well, you know, Henry and I have been trying to have a baby. Rita, really? Hmm? You're gonna be a mommy? I'm so excited! Ah! Ugh. Computers. Oh, let me see that. You know what? You gotta delete the cookies. That's it, done. <laughs> I used to work for Best Buy. What's holding the line up here? What does he look like? A terrorist? Hey, I was just kidding back there. You're doing a great job. A really great job. <laughs> Stewardess, get out of that flight suit, okay? Hey, I'll take a chicken fried steak and a mimosa. <laughs> Where's the real pilot? You're looking at her. Oh, you're the pilot, huh? This is hilarious. Where's the hidden camera? I've handled much bigger machinery than this before. <laughs> Air Force One, do it. You're clear for takeoff. First day. GPS system on. Computer. Online. Pressing Barometric pressure. Check. Beep, beep, beep. Logging out of Facebook. And here we go. Woo! Yeah! Come on, Matt. Come on, Matt. Let's go, Mavericks. This is awesome, you guys. Mr. President, can you turn the game off so we can talk about this? Jeff, we'll talk about it back in Washington, but till then, I want to watch the Grizzlies lose to the Mavericks. I got 20 bucks on this game. Mr. President, you may be the president, but you're just a normal guy like all of us. I just think that's awesome. Oh, Mr. President, you watch your precious basketball game. You have no idea what you've done. It's my last flight before retirement. I really hope nothing bad happens. Our dinner tonight is delicious succulent steak or slippery salty salmon. Steak, please. Steak or salmon? Oh, I'm not really that hungry, but thank you. First flight? Oh, no. <laughs> Just have a small fear of flying ever since my plane went down back in the war. Don't worry, this is Air Force One. Nothing bad ever happens here. <laughs> I guess you're right. I guess I'm a, I'm a little shaken up still about the divorce. Steak or salmon? Steak or salmon? <laughs> This airplane has just become a bear plane! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> uh, Ronnie to Air Force One, hey, just checking in to see what's up. See if you guys are um, 
kosher up there. Um, haven't heard anything from you yet. So, I, you may be pranking the new guy on his first day on the job, I don't know. It's probably, it's probably how you do roll, President. Uh, anyway, j please, just um, please answer um, next time I transmit. Sit down, everybody, or I'll blow your brains out! Well, this is fucked up. How could you, Bears? That one's for America. This one is for me. I wish I'd known about this room a long time ago. Bears are stupid. All we gotta do now is land this plane. Well, let the army take care of the rest. Stupid bears. <laughs> Woohoo! Ah. Oh! Hey, President! Welcome to the party. We're taking this plane back to bear country, and there's nothing you can do about it. For the bears! I don't wanna die! Yeah! Get off my plane! Johnson! You're bleeding! It's nothing. Just a scratch. Don't be ridiculous. We have a hospital right on board. It's Air Force One. Come on. Promise there's not gonna be any needles? Shut up. Come with me. We're gonna bring we're gonna fix you right up. But don't get me near any needles. Thank you. I'll throw it on autopilot, we'll be right back. But I can fly it. <laughs> yeah, okay. What happened? We've been attacked. Bears have hijacked the plane, and they're no doubt bringing it back to Alaska. They must have taken us down here mistakenly as dead bodies. Either that, or they've taken us down here. As hostages! All right, I'm gonna ask you this once, and I'm gonna ask you pretty nice. What are you doing to my plane, you dumb idiot? <laughs> Mr. President, you make me laugh. I'm not a rat, I'm a bear. And I ain't telling you nothing! Oh! <laughs> this guy's never talking. Sir, hold on, I have an idea. I saw this in a movie once. So, Corey Matthews. Looks like you're married. Beautiful family. God, I'd hate for something terrible to happen to them. I don't care about my family, you know. I am a terrorist. Oh, yeah? Well... What's he doing? He's either very smart, or he's a big, dumb idiot. What's this? This beautiful boat you have here. Sure would be a shame if anything happened to this. My boat? Again, I am a terrorist, so I don't really care about my boat. <sighs> Plus, it's in the shop, so...
What are you what are you doing there? Blair? What are you What are you doing there? If you're trying to win her heart, I recommend you play it smart. A little dab of abracadabra might be just the thing for you. You don't need roses or French cologne when the two of you are all alone. You're the one who makes it happen, it's true. What are you doing? Sure would be a shame if anything happened to her, wouldn't it? Come on, let's be cool here, let's chill out, let's, um, you know, we're fine. Come on, we're cool, we're cool. Come on, let's chill out here. Let's not get, let's not go crazy here. Shut up! I sure could use a new rug. Shut up! Uh, shut up! A new Blair skin rug. No, no! No, I'll talk. I'll tell you everything. I'll tell you everything you need to know right now. Jeff! He was about to talk. Yeah! I couldn't let that happen. Jeff! You? We must carry out our mission. Jeff? I can't believe that you are a bearist. Part of the Barian race. Well, just a bear. Don't patronize me, Mr. Ah! President. A war on bears is a war on me. And I'm gonna do something few have done in history. Kill you, the President of the United States. Jeff, you're never gonna get away with this. And why is that? I don't negotiate with bearists! Mr. President, uh, I'm sorry. I'm not. Jeff. No! Oh, shit. Hey, our first one, it's Ronnie, just checking in one more time. I, I mean, I hate to put my foot down like this, you know, but my boss is on me, because like all the other air traffic controllers, they've, they've talked to their planes by this point of the flight, and I haven't even, like, my job on the most basic level is just to, t to talk to you, the plane, to communicate with you. It hasn't happened, and I mean, I need this job, man. Like, I gotta get bail, and I got this kid, right? I mean, like, if you could just do me a solid, man, just answer. I also have a drug problem. I gotta keep it up. Oh, I could really go for a Bud Light right now. What do you say we bring this puppy down? First round's on me. Sounds good. Once Captain Johnson gets all bandaged up, we can land this thing safely. What, the other captain? He's dead. What? I thought you said that there was a hospital and that everything was gonna be okay. All the doctors in the hospital got eaten by bears, so now we don't have a hospital, really. It's just life, I guess. Well, they can't land this thing without a co-pilot. What? Excuse me? That better be a joke. Real funny. We're all gonna die. Hello? Uh, hello? This is Lola Bush, um, one of the flight attendants on board. Two of us are, are stuck down here in the cargo area. Uh, we need help. There's no bears down here. No bears. Not, not a single bear down here. And, uh, and we think that the president himself should come down here to get us. No one else. While we're still in the air, um, or else, this is Lola. I don't know. Sounds like it could be a trap. You heard what they said. They're alone. It's definitely not a trap. Somebody should go down there. The president should go down there.
That's just what they want us to think. I've got a plan. Lock down the cockpit. Hide all the food as high as you can get it. Get all the pots and pans on board together. Showtime. Like beating a bunch of kindergartners. That was easy. Hmm. Where's your mommy, little guy? <laughs> huh? Missing your mommy? <laughs> ah! That's the biggest bear I've ever seen in my life! <gasps> What's the matter? What's the matter? Can't reach? Too big to reach over here? <laughs> I'm standing right here. I'm standing right here. Come on, bear. I'm standing right here. Like. Uh, peanut butter? No, what are they like? I don't know. Chocolate? Wait a second. Dogs are allergic to chocolate. Koalas are about as big as dogs. Follow me. There goes nothing. Still wish I was on that diet, Branson? Let's do it! Cell phone. I'm not supposed to have cell phones on airplanes. I didn't even think those worked on airplanes. Wait a second. I think I know what's going on here. Remember the flight attendant from before? Hey, it's Gil. You know the drill. <sighs> Gil. 
Domino's. <laughs> Hello? I'm just kidding, this is the President of the United States. <gasps> yes! Yeah! There's me and one other person trapped down here in the cargo area. The bears are holding us hostage. The cargo area? Listen, I have a plan. It's not going to be easy, but it's going to work. There's a big pack of extra parachutes down there. I want you each to put one on. Hold on. What are our coordinates? It looks like that we're somewhere over Keystone, South Dakota. Perfect. We're going to dump the cargo. Uh, Mr. President. Don't worry about it. But Mr. President, that means all those bears are going to crash into Mount Rushmore. On the 4th of July. Okay, they got strapped in? I think so. You better hurry. The natives look restless. Okay. Three. Two. One. Uh, Mr. President, what's going on up there? What's going on up there? Bad news. Wait a second. Let me try something. I've done this a million times. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Goodbye, cookies. Rita, nice work back there. Now I owe you one. How about some dinner? All right, Cindy. Let's take my plane back to Washington. You got it, Mr. President. I can get used to this. Just, uh, just checking in one last time. You know, I mean, I, if it was anybody but the president, I'd be really mad right now. I don't know if you've gotten my transmissions, but I've sent a lot of them. I've been sending them on the hour every hour for now 13 hours, and I'm still at work. Listen, I just want verification that you guys haven't been um, killed by, by bears, for instance because I, I'm not gonna lie, I'm on the verge of getting fired here. Uh, one, I haven't talked to you all day. Two, I may have got caught doing some angel dust in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs>